I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Currens, Texas. And today I wanted to introduce you to one of the most popular tractors here at PR Equipment, which is the Massey Ferguson GC series tractors. So these tractors are really popular with people who maybe own from, you know, as low as an acre, or even half an acre, uh, up to maybe five or so, or even maybe a larger operation that needs something to clean stalls with, or needs something to do a little light work around the house or around the barns or whatnot. So the GC series comes in two separate models. We have the GC 1725M, which is the premium, a little bit larger, a little bit more horsepower. We have the GC 1723E. So the E is the economy version. It's gonna come in at a little bit more attractive a price point, but it's gonna lack a, a few of the features. Uh, so the primary differences between these two tractors is the 1725 is got basically right at 25 horsepower, where the 23 is, is right at 23 horsepower. Um, and so that's the primary difference between these two. You also, there's a couple other things to consider. So on the E, on the, on the e series, we don't get armrests. So like the M, we're gonna have these built-in armrests to the seat, and those are kind of a nice upgrade. It's gonna come standard with a rear work light. It's also gonna have a 12 volt charger in the cubby here. So that's kind of the differences between the two. Uh, we sell a lot of both of them. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. The, the E is really popular just because it's, it's at a very attractive price point. As far as attachments go, or I guess there's, there's really a couple different ways to configure these tractors. So you can get the, either of these tractors as just a base tractor. Maybe you're just gonna put a belly mower on it, so that might work for you. You don't need a loader, you don't need a backhoe. Uh, some folks will take it like that. You can also, you know, probably the most popular option is tractor and loader combination. So we're just gonna take a loader and we're just gonna take the tractor. That's gonna allow me to use my three point for, for my tilling, you know, rototilling, maybe spreading, maybe, um, you know, mowing, shredding, anything like that. So that's probably the most popular way. And then there's also the EB. So uh, you can also work from the factory as a TLB, but they call it the EB or the MB. Uh, that's gonna come with a loader, it's gonna come with a backhoe, and then of course the base tractor. And then you can add on a number of different attachments. Uh, this just happens to be a, a 16 inch belly mower. This is the drive over mower, so it's easy to detach and take off. But the nice part about this is you can actually utilize this mower in this configuration. So backhoe on, uh, loader on, everything, you can still use the, the belly mower. So that's a really nice feature. But that's, so this is probably the most popular options that we sell is, is uh, you know, maybe just the tractor loader, maybe the tractor loader backhoe, and we sell quite a few belly mowers because it really makes a nice mowing machine when you couple that diesel engine with, with, a, with a good size mowing deck. It, it just makes a, makes a really nice mowing machine. Uh, all of the 1700 series are gonna be four wheel drive. They don't make it in two wheel drive, which is actually quite nice. Um, they're all gonna be a selectable four wheel drive, which, which makes them, makes them uh, a little bit more uh, powerful in, in terms of pulling. So in terms of the loader, uh, the, the FL1805 loader, which you're gonna find on most GCs today, there's still some out there with the DL95, but the FL1805 gives you about 925 pounds of lift capacity. So that's actually pretty darn handy, uh, you know, definitely more than, you know, maybe I'm gonna be able to do. Uh, so it, it's, it's a really capable tractor for this size. Well, obviously if you need more lift capacity, we've got other tractors to tackle that. But at this size of tractor, 925 pounds of lift is, is really, really handy. One other thing while we're talking about the loader, there's two ways to order the loader. We order all the loaders that come in here with the skid steer quick attach. Uh, you don't always find it on this size of tractor. In fact, a lot of this, this size of tractor is gonna have a pin on, which is an option as well. If you're never gonna take the bucket off, a pin on bucket is not a, a bad idea. However, we like to bring them in with the skid steer quick attach because it's just so easy to remove that bucket. And, and if you, maybe you wanna set, put a set of pallet forks, a small grapple, there's just a lot of different things that you can do with your front end loader if you have that skid steer quick attach. So I think that's really important. Um, oh, and, and tires. You can get this with a turf tire or you can get this with an industrial. We really like the industrial. They're really good, they're good on turf, but yet, uh, but they get great traction. So it's kind of the best of both worlds for us. So we really like it that way. But the FL series loader, a really, really nice loader. Um, and it, like I say, good, good lift capacity. The skid steer quick catch is, is a real big benefit. So that's definitely something you wanna look for. And, and when you're out shopping, I would really strongly suggest looking for one that is skid steer quick catch instead of the pin on. Uh, unless like say you're never gonna take the bucket off. One other thing to notice, not all brands do this, but what we're gonna use two tilt cylinders. Sometimes on the GC, uh, the, the smaller compacts, subcompacts as they're called, tractors, they're gonna use one tilt cylinder. There's some other brands that do that. 
uh, it kind of gets in the way of the field of vision. So as you raise it up, you've got that one cylinder pointing you right in the eye. So that's a really nice feature that, that just having those two tail cylinders. So that's something to look for as well. Uh, coming back to the backhoe. So this is actually the new and improved and upgraded BH2720. Not a ton of changes. We used to sell a lot of the CB65, which is also a really good backhoe. Six and a half foot of dig depth. We typically outfit it with a 12 inch bucket. There's a couple other bucket options, but, but that's, that's the most common. It comes with uh, three digging teeth. Um, a couple changes that came with the BH series is, is the different stabilizers. They, they changed the valving a little bit and just the design and, and, and how the, the locks, the pin locks are, are, are set up. But regardless of whether you get a CB65 or this BH series backhoe, one thing that's really nice about this series is how well it works with the backhoe. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of tractors out there that it, it doesn't do well as a tractor once you have a backhoe. This does really well because once we pop this backhoe off and it just takes a couple pins and we can set this backhoe off, off there, all you gotta do is reconnect your hoses and then pin your three-point linkage back in place. So all the, your, your linkage on this, your three-point arms actually store up out of the way and then once, you, once you're ready to use those, you just flop those down, put a couple pins in, you're ready to go. So it's really, really fast and really, really simple to change over the, the back to the, uh, from the backhoe to, to just a tractor, maybe if you wanna use a box blade or something like that, or get your rototiller out. It makes it really, really easy. So I, I, I really like that in this combination. Um, so a couple other things to think about is some of the features that these tractors provide. So all of these are gonna be a two-speed hydrostat. It's gonna be a forward and side-by-side -side pedals for your hydro set as well. Uh, that's really, really handy, really, really nice. Um, one thing I really like is we also are gonna integrate these loader controls into the side console of this tractor. You know, you'll, you might see some out there in the market where you kinda gotta reach forward to it, and that's okay, but this is just a little bit more comfortable, especially if you get this M-series with these armrests, you're able to rest your arm right there and work that loader, so that's a really nice feature as well. Um, we do have a small cubby here. We've got a raise and lower for the, for the three point, kind of all on your right side. And one thing I should mention, all of these controls are color coded. So anything that's orange has to do with driving the tractor. Anything that's yellow has to do with the PTO. Uh, and so anything that's black is, is kind of more geared towards your hydraulics. Some more features that I really like about these tractors, we, we talked about this integrated control. It does also have a float position. If you're not familiar with float, that, that's where basically we relieve the pressure off the loader and let gravity do the work. So it's really nice for back dragging. But we do have a float position. It comes standard with cruise control. Once again, it's something that doesn't always come standard on this size of tractor. Um, it even has a tilt steering wheel. So all you do is flip that up and you can tilt this steering wheel and maybe change the position that it's in. Something more comfortable for you. Um, we do have full set of headlights, your turn signals, your hazard lights, maybe if you gotta run this down the road to the neighbor's house or whatnot, you've got that ability. Um, over on the left side, so we do come standard with a mid PTO. That's gonna really help if you go to add that belly mower. Uh, you're not gonna have to install a, a separate PTO. That PTO is already installed for you, so you just buy the belly mower, hook everything up, you're good to go. Uh, one, also, one thing I, I like about, when we talk about the belly mower, is the ability to lock the belly mower up out of place. So there's a knob down here and so let's say you've got a tractor set up like this with maybe a box blade and you got the belly mower. You can raise that belly mower up and lock it out of place so it stays up and out of the way and we can go ahead and use that three point without having to remove the, the belly mower. Really nice feature as well. Um, it does have a park brake. We've got our throttle here on the right side. Uh, you can control the speed at which the, P the three point raises and lowers. We've got a four wheel drive engagement here, so you can select to, to not use four wheel drive. Maybe like say if it's real dry conditions or whatnot, you can kick that four wheel drive out and just run it in two wheel drive. A couple more things to think about. Uh, one is where we put our fuel tank. I really like this. Uh, this is gonna be a side fuel. So we're gonna be able to, you know, most of these tractors are gonna be fueled with, 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 with diesel jugs, right? They're not gonna be filled from a large tank. And this allows us to just reach right here, as opposed to maybe having up on the hood where you've got to reach over the loader. That's not quite as convenient. And also, and this might be something that not everybody appreciates as much as I do, but I have to haul these tractors pretty frequently. Uh, so these tow hooks, that is such a simple thing, but believe it or not, there's a lot of models, there's a lot of brands of tractors that they just, that's an afterthought. So you're always looking for places to, to tie the tractor down when trailering. 
And I honestly, that, that's a big benefit for, especially for me, I'm hauling these tractors frequently, but I really like that. So, and popping the hood, a couple more things that, that are pretty unique about this tractor is on this series of tractor, the, the GC series, they actually reverse the engine. And you might be thinking, why would we do that? So there's a couple of benefits when we're able to do that. We're able to push the hot air away from us. And it's also typically gonna bring in cleaner air because it's not, you know, maybe up front you're stirring up dust. We're gonna bring it from the operator station forward. And so not only are we pulling air from around us, we're bringing in cooler air, and we're also gonna be able to keep that, that radiator cleaner. Uh, in addition to like say, just pushing that hot air off of us. So that's a really nice feature. Both of these tractors are gonna be equipped with a three cylinder diesel engine. One really nice feature, no emissions. So these are just good, good old, in, uh, old fashioned inline injection pumps, just built to be super reliable, super simple, and just give you years and years of, of you know, use with no issues. So, I mean, if you're looking for something, maybe you're a gardener, maybe you're just doing some, some intensive landscaping around the house, uh, maybe you've got a small patch behind the house that you've got to maintain with a shredder or whatnot. This tractor is really what we like to refer to as the Swiss Army knife because there's so many attachments. There's even snow blowers and snow blades and things like that, which we don't see a lot here in Texas, but there are a lot of different uh, you know, attachments that you can get that make these tractors just super, super handy to have around, whether you're like say small acreage or larger acreage, both have a, have a place. So guys, it, I, I really encourage you to come out, check them out. Let's get you on one, put you in the seat. Uh, we can explore some financing options. You know, there's 0% on these tractors. Um, get in the seat, test one out. Let's talk about what one of these, what these GC Massey Ferguson's can do for you.